for you. You better hear this. As Christians, we must take it from the pews and bring it on the street. Okay. Hallelujah. We must take what we know when we learn it in a classroom environment and take it to a laboratory environment. Right. Put it to use. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord declares, overcoming the fifth factor in your stone. Come on, turn to your brother or sister and say, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming. Do you believe that this morning? Yeah. Internet saints, do you believe it this morning? Sister Tiffany, Sister Sandy, Sister Sweetheart, do you believe it this morning? Yeah. Overcoming the fear factor in your stone. Yeah. By faith, see, I'm going to get what I came for. By faith, I'm going to get what I came for. Amen. You're here because God got a design word for you today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many know we're a church that we're not looking who showed up and who didn't? We want Jesus to show up. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. My God, when you go to Popeye's or churches or you go eat, you worry about if your neighbor came? You went there to get full. Is there anybody here that came hungry and ready to leave full? Amen. Well, come on, look with me, please. I just want to tell you I love you this morning. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. My God. Paul said it like this, saints. He said, the apostles, are they not called to be the scum of the earth? Hey. That's what Paul said. Paul said, I know what it is to be shipwrecked. I know what it was to be beat three times. I know what it was to be in perils of friends, perils of enemy. Hallelujah. He said, I was stoned twice, left dead. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Listen to me, please. Before Moses could be used to let the children of Israel leave Egypt, how many know he had to experience leaving Egypt first? Yes. Yes. Are you understanding that? Yes. Yes. How many know it's easier to leave with a crowd than to be by yourself? Hey. That's right. Do you understand why Moses uh, didn't care what, what Pharaoh was saying? Mm -hmm. Moses said, Brother, Brother Martinez, let my people go. And what did Pharaoh do? Turn the deaf ear, right? Yes. You know what Moses said in his heart? Pharaoh, you don't impress me. He said, I was in the backside of the desert with 40 years and I had nobody listening to me. I'm used to people not listening to what I'm saying. How many know God trained Moses? Hallelujah. See, it is expedient that I go before you to every trial and tribulation to let you know that God is no respecter of person. Amen. For what's happening to me is not because of me, but that you may be increased. Oh, thank you. Woman of God, that's for you. What you're going through is for somebody else. Now, after you've done everything to stand, stand some more. Right. Hallelujah. Come on, I just want you to say my faith one more time. I'm going to get what I came for. Right. Hallelujah. My God. Come on with me. Look at verse 33 with me. Thank you, Jesus. And with many such parables spoke he the word unto them as they were able to hear it. How many know we pick up the story when all is come? When they are receiving teaching in a classroom atmosphere, in a classroom environment. In other words, they don't have no pressure from family, from friends, or from folk. Hallelujah. How many know when you came to Christ, everybody was excited for you? You had no pressure. In the, in the house of God, you don't feel no pressure. People turn their finger. Who you think you're holy? You think... Do you understand Jesus is teaching in a classroom environment? Now you must remember this. The previous chapter, he just taught them God's power will come and, and will cause his kingdom to grow worldwide with influence worldwide. That's a classroom environment. How many know you've heard me say God's going to use us to bring revival to the East Coast? How many know you heard me say, Behold, I'm suddenly at the threshold of my destiny. Hallelujah. In other words, I want you to understand this. Hallelujah. Hearing is one thing. See, if you read chapter uh, 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 3 and 4, you'll see where he says, And a sower is the word. And then he gave another parable about the kingdom. Oh, they heard all this good teaching. Hearing is one thing. Seeing it is another. But how about being a part of it seems to be unimaginable. 
You mean God's going to stop me from being a fisherman and become a preacher? You mean all my days I thought I was just going to be a plumber and now God wants to use me in the ministry? You mean I thought I was old, I was gone? God says, uh-uh. If you can think it, you can declare it. If you can see it, you can declare it. They're in a classroom environment and everything looks calm. Somebody may say, well, I ain't going through a storm. Be patient. You know, it's coming. Are you hearing me this morning? He's teaching them, and, and they're receiving good teaching. Ooh, mm, oh, this is good, Jesus. The first key to overcoming the fear factor in your stone, if you're taking notes, the first key, true teaching must come first. Can I tell you today, that's what's hurting the body of Christ. There's no true teaching. Why would a preacher preach money coming and you don't understand how to love your brother or sister? I know you're right. <laughs> the Bible says he that is unjust will be a little bit more unjust. And he that is holy will be just a little bit more holy. Hallelujah. Amen. Why would you teach somebody principles and they're violating it? The first key to overcoming your fear factor in your stone, you got to have truth that you can stand on. But we're afraid of the truth. You hurt my feelings. Brother, sister, you didn't come in love. By the mere fact that I told you the truth declares my love for you. Are you hearing me this morning? Amen. Jesus said, and many such parables he spoke he the word unto them as they were what able to hear it. In other words, the first step is you must receive true teaching. What's true teaching? The body of Christ is not right. We got people believing God's going to spare America. America is into abortion. America is into racism. America is into genderism. Do you understand God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for what they did? He is not going to destroy America? Out! I said the truth hurts. The truth is like vegetables. You may not like it, but it's good for you. For John 8, 32 says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set a man free. We got folks that don't that stand in opposition of God's word and want to say God's using them mighty now. God never used anybody that was sinning. God never used anybody. He said, be ye holy as I am holy. Are oh, you hearing me this morning? First, we must receive true teaching in just so much at a time. You can't receive it all at one time. So how many know the shepherd must know how much to feed and put on your plate? How many know we see that in the natural? When you're fixing food for your baby, you don't give them a daddy's plate. That's all you can have. You tell them all you get is about eight cookies, four cookies. You, you portion it out. Hallelujah. In other words, the shepherd must know where his people are. Where God's people level is. Can't just feed people all at one time. They cannot what? Bear it. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and with many such parables he spoke he the word unto them. Do you understand that at this point, He's speaking the word and there's no storm in their life. How many of us has been blessed to receive word when there was no storm in our life? Amen. Y'all know it's no secret I'm going through a storm. How many going through a storm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, you got to stand on the word that you received when you wasn't in a storm. That's why Romans. What does it mean? Did you hear me? Sometimes we hear people say stuff. Well, you know, Jesus loved everybody. That ain't what the Bible says. The Bible says that he expounded all things to his disciples. In other words, the disciples say, Master, I didn't understand this. God, you told me to turn the other cheek. I don't understand that. How can I turn? We're afraid to ask questions. God, how can I pay tithes when my light bill is due? When my phone bill, God, I don't understand. How can I do that? The 
Bible says when he was alone, 